What's going on everybody? It's your boy Shooky from Shook Earth Media and today we are doing my first guide video ever and we are doing the final boss battle of Resident Evil Village on the hardest difficulty Village of Shadows. Now I struggled for this on months on end. You guys can see me struggle with this in my live streams that are still uploaded on the channel and I couldn't beat it on on live stream and I tried a bit at a time for several weeks and months and I just could not for the life of me get this until I found out the correct strategy so let's jump on in here and get our final loadout from our trustworthy shopkeeper here okay guys so the key to this is you want to go all in on the sniper rifle that is what is the most important weapon in this final battle if you use that as your primary weapon it is a much easier time believe me okay so you want to make sure as you're going through the game that you level up this gun as much as you can especially the damage category I gotta now go. we got I mr fat man here Sir. See, you want to upgrade this as much as you can. I didn't upgrade reload speed all the way or ammo capacity all the way. That's, you know, that that's up to you how you want to spend your money. Obviously, you want to sell everything you have. We can sell all those. Oh, the assemblage of life okay, now you if you if you got this influx of money, you want to spend as, as much as you can. You definitely want power up all the way. You want rate of fire up all the way. And you want to have as many of health items as you can. Now, thanks. Okay, we have this force dialogue scene, but yeah, we we want to have more than two health items here. So you want to have as many as you can. We're gonna buy one, but the main thing you want to have is you need to have 60 rounds at least of sniper ammo. So we can craft some. We can buy some. You'll want to have 60 rounds. So that's what you need. Now, you'll also want to have at least 8 pipe bombs, preferably 10. And you want to have between 5 and 10 mines. You could probably get away with just 5 mines. So if you need to be thrifty and spend your uh, resources on ammo and stuff like that, you only really need 5 mines. But 10 would be preferable. So, so yeah, it's very, it's so it's very tempting to try to beeline the Magnum and go. the grenade launcher. But you, you want to have some grenade rounds. I have five here. Um, if you don't have them, you can probably get away with not using it. But it will help at a certain point. And you do want to have some pistol ammo because she has these fireballs that appear above her head that she casts at you. And you'll want to spend your pistol ammo on that. However, I have an excessive amount of that. You know, you'll want to have some shotgun ammo and other types of ammo for the final scene. Because there's a, a point, if you've beaten the game already, you know that there's a point where it says, like, you have to shoot. And at that point, you should just use whatever weapons you have on hand. So, yeah. As you can see, my final loadout here is I have five of these med kits here. I have nine bombs and I have 10 mines. Like I said, you really only need five, but 10 is just, you'll see what I use them for, but there's a very specific part where you might want to use, where you might need 10. But other than that, that's my loadout going into this battle. Let's just get up this hill here. Yeah, don't worry about, don't worry about this one. Now this one here, you will have to, you will have to block here. There. And then you can turn around and you can sprint up the rest of the way. Now you press A here. We skip the cutscene. Pull out your sniper and just start shooting. That's all you gotta do. You gotta pull, pull out your sniper. Avoid her hits when you can. Block when you can't. Avoid them. But you have enough extra med packs that you should be okay. These attacks are fairly easy to dodge. You just have to get used to dodging them. Yeah, you just basically have to get used to her attacks. Now she's transitioning to her next 
stage of the fight. This part is... These attacks are kind of hard to dodge, I must admit. I gotta turn down this volume here. It's distracting me. But yeah, this part can be hard to dodge these. So make sure you get on your blo your block game on 100. You need that block. Now, when she goes up on the on the pillars like that, you just have to run towards her as quick as you can. Just keep sniping her. Just keep sniping her. Block her when you when you can. The blocks are very effective in this fight. Don't be scared of getting hit. If you have enough health items, you should be fine. Okay, now we're, now that we're in this flight section, this is when I like to switch to the grenade launcher. And I like to just use all six of them that I have. See, I messed up. That's okay. We healed up. We reload. Now we get ready when these balls up here above her head. Pull your pistol out. You shoot them all. You switch back to your grenade launcher. I missed. That's okay. I'm getting hit again. Again, it's not a big deal. Reload. And then we're going to switch to that. Hitting her with the grenades. Oh, boy. We're burning through my health items right now. We'll see if I can get this on the first try. Okay. I want to use this last grenade round, and I missed. That's okay. Go back to sniping. <laughs> now she's on the ground again. Feel the dark God's wrath. And we just keep shooting. We just keep shooting, baby. Now, don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Just shoot her. Don't worry about the thing above her head. See, if you hit her enough times... She will just fall down. You don't have to worry about the, like, lava stuff that's coming up. Okay, now this part. This is what you need the mines for. Equip these right away. Crouch down. Plant all five in the same spot. That's what you do. Plant all five. As fast as you can. You crouch because it happens faster. And then blow up. She blew... What? Okay, this has never happened before. All right, now we're going to use the other five. If you have the extras... Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna cast it. Usually it sends you out of this stuff when she gets hit by that. There we go, okay. Yeah, that's why you might want to have some extra if you can afford, afford it. All right, now we're in this part with the mold. This is what you need the pipe bombs for. Now you can throw the pipe bombs through the this hole here. Throw all of them. Don't waste any time. Okay, and now you want to go back to the sniper rifle, finish Such off the fight. Okay. Yep, okay, now you get caught by this moldy, moldy goodness here. You get some more shots in. And this time I like to kind of switch to the shotgun. Basically just whatever guns, you don't have time to reload really. So you want to use like your other weapons as much as you can. Don't worry about blocking. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. And that's it. Congratulations. You beat the fight. You see how easy that is? I didn't even break a sweat. This is my first take recording it. As soon as I learned this fighting style, I beat this on the first try. So sniper, sniper, sniper. Upgraded all the way. 60 rounds at least. Maybe a bit more just to, if you're paranoid and, and you miss a lot of shots. You want to have a little extra. You want to have... I'll just say 10 mines because you saw there I've never seen that happen before but usually when you put those five down and they blow up you get cast out of the darkness area but in that time I needed 10 so maybe you do want to have 10 and you want to have those pipe bombs and you throw them in the mold 
uh, comes up and don't worry about the lava over their head. Just worry about the, the little balls floating. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you beat Village of Shadows mode. You know, it ain't, ain't no big deal. We crushed it, man. We crushed it. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll probably do another one of these guides for how to beat the like and attack. So stay tuned for that. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.